All right, so this I have it set up in the drill press. I already went ahead and drilled a pilot hole for the uh, pilot bit for the hole saw. And got it clamped down in the drill press as best as I can. Uh, so uh, I know it looks a little bit hairy. Uh, we'll be running the drill press at its slowest speed. I don't know what that is offhand. Ideally, with the 3 and 3 eighths hole saw and cast iron, I think it equate somewhere around 75 to 90 rpms would be the ideal speed but the plate's not that thick it's only barely quarter inch thick so um well, i think i think if i feed it slow it'll be all right so i'll zoom you in a little closer as we get started and all right let's get going Bring you a little closer here, show you what we got going on. It's as you can see, it's a um, it's a textured cut that we're making here. Uh, well, it's a it's an it's an interrupted cut because of the texture of the um, of the cast iron. So we got high spots, low spots, and I don't think there's going to be a point where we're going to have a true continuous cut. I think by the time we get through this high spot, uh, I don't think we'll be touching the low spot yet. So I think this is going to be a, a, a the entire process is going to be an interrupted cut at some point. So the hole saw is still relatively cool. I can touch it. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. If it starts to get hot, I'm going to have to uh, slow down or, or uh, cool the hole saw a bit. I don't want to overheat the uh, tool. And um, we got a good chunk of it taken out already, so let's keep going. As you can see, it's starting to get a little warm. Uh, let me vacuum out those chips and... Uh Okay, now, a machinist uh, friend of mine told me this trick. He said, uh, take some wet paper towels and stick them under the hole saw, and that'll keep the, that'll help keep the uh, hole saw cool. So, uh, I'm going to try that. 
as you can see. It's kind of messy, but let's go. deeper and uh, okay whole sort is a lot cooler huh so um, this is a messy technique though let me tell you that so. all right it looks like silver never sees over everything okay well All right, I thought I'd bring you closer in here. Uh, this is about 40 minutes into the cut, actually. Um, it is a slow go. I've, as you can see, I'm still not making a continuous cut all around. Um, you know, there's, th this is probably almost halfway around almost 180 degrees there's still a spot here we haven't touched on yet and two little pieces back here there's one tiny little piece over here that we'll probably be connecting that shortly right here and here these are the two deepest parts uh we're still not through uh this is just a slow go uh the whole saw has been holding up good i still got the wet paper towels underneath here uh that seems to be a great idea um I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna take my time. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I have uh, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to drill this all the way through eventually. I thought about maybe halfway flipping it over, but this is such a heavy piece of uh, material and and awkward. I think I'm just gonna drill it straight through. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but um, I'll bring you back uh, when something more exciting is about to happen. All right, stay tuned. Well, I said that I'd bring you back when it got a little bit more exciting. Well, I lied. It's not much more exciting. So, it's probably about an hour and 45 minutes into this uh, operation. As you can see, there's two more spots, uh, two more low spots here. And um, so we're still not having a continuous cut. Uh, but you know that that's kind of to our that's kind of to my advantage here because this giving me a it's giving me a place for the uh, chips to come out. So I was kind of hoping to be through on one of the high spots by now, and that would give me and that would be a spot for the chips to fall through to the bottom. So I'm just hoping that by the time this becomes continuous, that I'll have. Um, It'll be through at least in one or, or maybe even two spots. This spot looks like it might be a little bit deeper here. So um, we're going to keep going. It's so tempting. I got this on the lowest speed. And it's so tempting to crank this up to go a little bit faster and, and get the job done sooner. But, you know, uh, probably one of the most valuable things <laughs> I've uh, learned as I, you get older is uh, patience. So... Um, I only have one hole saw. Um, I don't want to burn this one up and uh, have to go get another one. And uh, so, you know, we've come this far. Uh, I, are we halfway through yet? It's hard to say. This is not. Uh, this is not a flat surface. Um, I'd say we're somewhere between um, a third of the way through and almost halfway through. So. Uh, I'll try to promise to bring you back when, uh, something, uh, I have something more exciting. Well, three hours into this cut, and 
I don't even know if I'm halfway through. So I decided to flip it over and uh, we'll draw from this side. I lined the uh, I lined the pilot bit back up with the hole and we'll start drawing through here. Um, it is just a slow go. Um, so I still feel confident we will get through this. Um, so it's going to take a little bit longer than I anticipated big time. I'm glad I'm doing the big one first. And then uh, the inch and a half hole, uh, we'll tackle that one after we get this one done. So, uh, see you in a bit. Well, I did, at the very end, break through um, with the hole saw covered this way. And it just seemed, it was a lot of surface area to cut with the hole saw. Got two little spots here that are still in contact yet. And, um, you know, for shits and giggles, I decided to try my scroll saw. Uh, this is a metal blade, uh, a Bosch metal blade. And, um, uh, believe it or not, it's actually cutting. So, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to cut the rest of this out with the scroll saw. This thing is proven to be one bear of a job, and um, I don't know if you want to call this a machining video anymore, but I resorted to my Dremel, and I uh, got one of those reinforced uh, cutoff wheels in here, and I just went around, and I'm almost through. I, I'm through probably about 80% of it, so... Uh, with a new uh, cut off wheel. Well, that's about four hours worth of work, believe it or not. And, um, all right, so now I got to drill an inch and a half hole. This one is three and three eighths, and the idea is to be able to fit this um, fit this damper in here, and that'll go like that. And it's, this is for an insert for a, a fireplace that's going to be converted to gas. So, uh, all right. See you back later on. All right, so both holes are drilled. The one on the right, which is three and three eighths of an inch in diameter, that took me over four hours to drill with a hole saw. And uh, ultimately, at the end, um, the Dremel with the cutoff uh, wheel. Uh, was the best um, process to get that done. Uh, I cut almost, I'd say roughly halfway through, um, and it seemed like the saw just didn't want to cut anymore. Um, you know, it, the saw was still sharp, sharp but uh, must have been some hard spots in the cast iron, um, and it just it just seemed like it didn't want to cut anymore. I tried flipping it over, cutting from the opposite side, but as you can see, the texture is just way too um, 
aggressive or uh, it's just too much of a texture and very hard surface on the interior uh, here and it, it, the saw just didn't even want to cut so maybe the saw is a little dull now the one on the left that's an inch and a half in diameter and I didn't I didn't record that I was anticipating um, more um, than what it was gonna be and uh, I went right through with my uh, with my 18 volt my Bikita, uh, uh cordless drill and an inch and a half hole saw so um, I didn't get that on video I didn't anticipate it to go that smooth actually so um, well it was an interesting project I don't know hope I would never have to do this again or at least the big one anyway so all right, so here are the slugs that uh, that uh, that we drilled out, and this was the three and three eighths one. And um, see, it's almost a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and um, as you can see, this is pretty. The textures here. Let's see if you can see. Um, it does have a lot of um, dimension to it. This, like I said before, over four hours to cut that out. And then this one here, with the inch and a half hole saw, I even took me two minutes. So, with a battery operated saw, my Makita 18 volt. And, um, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Wish I could say I did. Thanks for watching.